Starting recording. And we're live. Right. Thanks for joining us. Episode one of the Children of the Red podcast. This is as official as it's going to get. Uh, we are loosely calling this What Goes On Tour. Um, we're going to be talking about some of our experiences from the thousands of gigs we've racked up over the last decade and a half. There may very likely be some swearing. If you'd like to contribute to the podcast in any way, shape or form, please see any of the links attached to this video. Right. Boys, today. Hello. Oh, this is going to be funny. I've got so many funny ones to talk about. So today, we've loosely got the topic of, because it's episode one, of just doing funny things that have happened. Um, or crazy things. I gave both the boys just a rough headline to work with and then okay okay give, give me your first story headline maximum <coughs> words what's the first one you think of um right so yeah i've got two that i can think of um the first they're actually both uh, based on dave of course so and dave is uh, dave is the guy with the for people that yeah, yeah uh, the first one is uh i've, I've uh, named it dave's home <laughs> And the, second, the second one I've called. I'm not. I'm not too sure on the on the title, but it's uh, two beds, no stone. <laughs> two beds, no stone. Yeah, I thought two birds. No, two, two birds. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. Two yeah, birds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah two, right. two, two birds, two beds, no stone. Okay. Well, well, we'll come to you first, and then Dave can, can chip in with a few. So, in typical style, obviously Dave has not prepared anything and turned up really late. So, <laughs> <laughs> like the, uh, uh, the, um, the 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 traffic was really bad. The, 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 there's diversions, and um, anybody who lives in the, kind of the Wilsey area, uh, will obviously know I'm that they're off there because we're trying to keep it under forty. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, sweet, sweet. yeah, yeah, bang, it, bang. It. Right. Um, so my, I, I, I've got about 20. Um, it was very difficult to cut down to just three. But my, my titles, my under five word titles are The Forfeit. Oh! The Surprise, <laughs> <laughs> the surprise New Member. And I've Got a Reputation. So, right, KB. Ooh. Give us your first one. Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, I'm going to start off with uh, it's, they're actually the same. It, they're all kind of linked together. So I'm going to start with uh, Dave's home. So we did. We, I think we got picked to do um, kind of like a mini festival. Bob, what was it called? Um, is it Butlins? Are we going down the yeah, Butlins? Yeah, the Butlins one. Oh, good, because I've got about four from Butlins. I can chip in. <laughs> <laughs> All based on Dave. I can't but, remember what it's called, but it was, it was like an 18 to, I don't know, 20 year old kind of festival, wasn't it? Of, it was, it was all about people that had gone to Ibiza and were meeting up, like the after party or oh, something. The reunion. The reunion. The reunion. Yeah. 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 The reunion. reunion. So it meant we were we would play like five gigs in two days or something. Yeah. Um, pretty cool. We support. I think we supported Pendulum or something. Yeah. Um, and we were in the green room with them. Or not? I can't remember. It was, it was very blurry for obvious reasons. Um, and we had full accommodation, like digs, and um, a whole heap of Burger King vouchers. So we lived on. <laughs> we got. Yeah, yeah. We, we got twenty pounds a day, each. or twenty pounds per meal each <laughs> per day. <laughs> when we left, we had about fucking hundred quid in Burger King vouchers. They had no, they had no cash value, and no. which fires today. This is our last gig. It's like. What can we get? And we, we emptied them out of bottled water. <laughs> <laughs> we, I remember me and uh, doing it was on the gig, and we, random people was like, "Do you want a fucking Big Mac?" Or, oh, God, <laughs> yeah, fucking wing. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the crux of this story being that we was at Butlins in yeah. Skegness in November, yeah. and I know it was November because I'd come back from Vegas. It's bold. So yeah. Two weeks of clean living after Vegas. And we've got, I think it was four gigs in two days, two weeks running. Mm. So, obviously, I was driving as I normally do. And you boys, I said to you, look, we've got four gigs in two days. 
<laughs> me being like, look, I haven't been paid yet. None of us have been paid. Be on your best behaviour. Don't fucking destroy the hotel room. Gotcha. <laughs> I was like, I know what happens when you go, when you're away from home and you've got a bit of freedom and, you know, beer provided. So carry on, Cave. Tell us where you well, go. This. One of these many button stories. Something you've just said there, I've wrote down because actually, you're actually incorrect. I'll come back in a second. But the first, oh, the first name of the story is, um, I'm going to go for, I've, I've re renamed it actually, now thinking about the, the saying. I've called it Two Beds, One Sofa. Yes. So um, obviously, we have, you know, quite a bit of work with, with the, the amount of gigs we've got to do over the two day period. Uh, we've got this lovely accommodation, it's all immaculate. We've got our own kitchen, living room, and everything else. And Dave's known for just, you're just a bit of a shit when it comes to going to bed and, and not stopping. I resemble that. <laughs> we, all, we all had our own bedroom. <laughs> lovely, you know, made up, you know, the, the, the pillows were plumped and everything. It was lovely. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, <laughs> they were plumped. <laughs> plumped, 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 plumped <laughs> freshly washed, ironed, and we had this piece of shit living room with the, you know, those like, sofas where the, yeah. oh, like, like a complete, like 90 degree. And in Dave's room, he actually had two beds. He had two single beds. Anyway, to cut a long story short, it got to the end of the like two day event, two nights or whatever. It was. And as we're leaving, Dave gets his bag out of his room, but the beds were still in immaculate shape. <laughs> Two nights on this like tiny little <laughs> sofa with this ninety degree angle thing, and um, like, is like, I've, I've got a that, photo of Dave. I've got a photo of that, and Dave obviously that, had that the long hair. Yeah, so Dave had the long. You had the long when you had long hair down to your bloody waist. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah I've yeah. got a picture of you like crooked neck on this <laughs> hair down here. Oh, legs, going the other, legs going the other way. Your legs were like that. <laughs> And I just walked in. Obviously, I, I'm well rested. I think I'd gone up, gone to Skegness Beach and done a run on the beach. Come yeah. back, you're still wearing your gig top. <laughs> and I was like, he's got two beds. <laughs> <laughs> and one sofa to call and I, 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 I definitely got it because I sent it to Kez and just went, he's got two beds. This is where and it she just steps back saying, standard or something like that. Like, yeah. 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 Amazing. So, but, um, uh, to add to, uh, to to the Butlin stories, Dave, because we had a cracking couple of days. Don't ruin my second part of the story because it interlinks nicely. Let me go on to my second part. Oh, yeah, fine, okay. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, and also there are multiple stories, but I thought for the purpose of, you know, not ruining any form of if we had a reputation, <laughs> you know, saying too much. Um, but the second story I've got, I called it Dave's Home. Now, earlier... Bob, you said we had, um, we had four, ga uh, four gigs in two days or something, which I remember yes. the gig being an absolute pig of a gig. Yeah, yeah. Not only we were written off, hung over, so was everyone else. And it was a, like... It was an afternoon. It was like 11 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. We had a sound check at 11 o'clock and on at 12. Was it yeah. in a bar? In, in like, in in a bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in, in a, a bar. bar. In the, in the uh, what do you call it, like the dome at Butlins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chase and Status were headlining, and right. it was yeah, it was fun. But anyway, so we finished that gig. We've done the four gigs, whatever it was. Burgers. We we stocked up on burgers and bottles. <laughs> you know, we're on our way home. Any anyway, we we drive back, hungover, drinking in the van. Day <laughs> falls asleep, and then we pull up to said location. Now Bob said there was four gigs. There wasn't. There was actually five. We'd left, done our gigs, come home, and uh, we'd pulled up to the ploughman, of all places. Which is a pub in Warrington, we should say. Yeah, in Warrington. Yeah, right. Great place. And uh, so it was my job to wake Dave up, because I'm sat next to him and he's on my shoulder. I can't Dave up. He's like, ah, oh, yeah. oh, neck. Um, right, boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. And I was like, what the fuck you on about? We're, we're at the ploughman, we've got another gig. And I can't replicate. <laughs> Dave's face, but it was like pure <laughs> <laughs> shock and fear, and uh, yeah, that was that um, that, 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 that was, was, that was the most surreal moment when that, that anticipation where you've been away 
like like uh, with, with the lads we played great gigs you know like yeah we, we did we did party and we, we, we were like we were enjoying ourselves and enjoying the moment but like we did the job we, 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 we were we were it was a job and we did a great job and it was all cool and then, but it's that relief when you get in the van you're like oh yeah <laughs> uh, and normally normally to add to, add to this i mean rob always called um kb um <laughs> <laughs> Call him giraffe because uh, as, in, as in giraffe because uh, uh, cave has got a, a rather stupendous neck uh, of which it then it sort of loses all control uh, once the rumble of the tires start up and, <laughs> and the old head's like <laughs> it's, it's gone. And it, it can often end up in Rob's lap or like on, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. on my shoulder or in or in my burger, yeah, in my said burger. But 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 for this time, I was like, I was I was out a bit. I was, I was gone, man. And uh, and uh, I remember just like that that almost that kind of relief where you're just like, oh, I want to clean my teeth. I want to shower. Let's unload. Come on, come on. It's final push. Let's unload the van, lads. And and then <laughs> just when Cabe said, uh, yeah, I've got another gig at pound, was like. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I mean, I, I, I mean, we love the plowman and all the guys there. They're, they're fucking excellent. But um, yeah, that that was a, that was a tough one. It's a good little time to readjust. And it's kind of it's kind of gone into band folklore now. Like when we're getting back from like London at two in the morning or something like that, and be like, Dave will always be asleep. Kay will always be asleep. We're like, all right, boys, at the plowman. Come on. Let's <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I, I also remember that gig being a really, really good one as well. Yeah, it was. Yeah. You know, no, you definitely. I, you, I can't you remember it being a bad one there. No, no. no I, I, I think. I think. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think it was. Um, I think it was. It was more of a case of like, right, we, we've we've got to we've got to readjust. But also, we played so much. Yeah. It's such a small uh, sort of space of time that we you kind of our playing was like on the money, you know. Yeah. Uh, fair play to you, Rob, for singing. You know, I mm. uh, I, I understand like fatigue and and alcohol. Like just the first place to hit is, is your pipe. So yeah. yeah. So fair play to you. <laughs> Look, looking back at me and Cave, like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Warrington. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh man, I mean, that was, and then we had to go and do it again the next week as well, like another four days. So I then the next week went right, boys. We got through last week, but you know how hard it was. And we had the same thing. We were going to Stamford this time to the London Inn. So we did the same three or four gigs or whatever it was at Butlins. I was like, right, boys. Tonight we've got to do two gigs tomorrow. Get your head down. I went in my room, shut the door. I hear this. One. At like four o'clock, I went outside. I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" You again, you and Doon it were both in your gig clothes, running downstairs to a party. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm, you know what I'm like? I mean, obviously, you, you're grown men, you do what you want, and I'm just like, they're gonna feel that tomorrow. They're gonna feel that. <laughs> Yeah, right. Right. Okay. Oh, and I was like, no it, sympathy for you, no sympathy whatsoever. The next day, I'm going to work you bastards out. <laughs> you don't perform. <laughs> uh, and what, wasn't there one? Wait, to, to, I'm, I'm sure it's round about the same period. I, I, I often get mixed up with this, but wasn't there one night um, with Dooney? Um, uh, well, all of us really, but Dooney when we went to the golf club in Thorny. The, 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 what, what's what's yeah. that one? Where's the cave gone? Cave okay, disappeared. Where's he gone? I'm here. I'm just turning my uh, my roast potatoes because even. Oh, you can leave it on. I think people appreciate the uh, the, the human touch to it. Okay. Well. Um... <laughs> yeah, humanize. We'd, like, we'd, like, we'd like the human touch of you turning your potatoes. Rock stars <laughs> you know, eat potatoes, so it's okay. Um, I need my gloves. There they are. Carry on. Yeah, there's the one coming back from. I think that was coming back from Hollyhead. We'd done a wedding in North Wales. Is when we used to travel. Well, we don't anymore, thankfully. We're, we're lucky enough to, to, to get the gigs close enough, but we used to go all over. Yeah, yeah. And we've taken this gig, which took us, I think, six to get back. five and a half hours to get back, and then we had another gig to do that night. But doing it decided it would be a good idea to, to, to <laughs> sit the bottom of Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this one. 
Oh, and he got off the van at my house and yeah. was like... He smashed the glass. Yeah. And, I mean, it was just like, dude, are you all right? I thought we got... And I'm like, me being me again, being like, oh, shit, we got, we got a gig to do in a couple of hours. <laughs> and I swear to God, he went home, had a yeah. shower, maybe half an hour sleep, and he turned up, new shirt, hair done. I'm like, all right, what's happening? <laughs> literally like that. Literally like that. And <laughs> The weird thing about that, and like you said, Bob, it was, um, I think it was three hours. Yeah. It, that, that was impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. And hi, doing it, by the way. Cause yeah, better. doing it. We should, say to people, we should say to people, obviously, Dave, with the, with the spiky hair and, and, and the, uh, the pipe there, is, uh, plays drums predominantly, but also plays guitar sometimes. Kev is my little brother. He plays the guitar. Um, the three of us do most of the gigs and um, we have a few people like doing it who we've just been talking about who come in and cover and add when we need it to. Right, let's, let's move on. And, and, then, and, and Tom. And Tom. Oh, of course, and Tom. Yeah, sorry, Tom. Uh, Tom's been with, well, with me in this band longer than any of you. Tom's been with yeah. me since, well, he was at the second ever gig I did, funny enough. <laughs> so, God love Tom. I think if we can sort this out and keep this going... We'll just get Tom in because I've got three or four Tom stories which are absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> right, Cat so, Cole. yeah, that's one of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's do. Um, I want to do my one then because it involves Dave again and it involves Cave. Actually, wasn't there when this happened, but it involves Cave's. It okay, came in quite a big way. So I called this one the forfeit. You both oh. know where I'm going with this, yeah? Oh, yeah. mate. Yeah. All right, so oh. let me set, set the scene. Again, we're, we're travelling three hours to a army base in Surrey. And Dan, doing it, who we just talked about, he's drumming. So... <laughs> So, right, you started to see, you know, right, well, yeah, I'm so, so anyway, so doing it, so we keep all the equipment on the van, locked away, it's all, all on my van, all meet at my house, doing it is on the van, he's always there on time, Dave always being late, rocks up, now obviously I send the email out, people know what they're doing, and Dave, you know, it's great, he plays guitar, sometimes he plays drums, sometimes he plays guitar, Dave rocks up, and I see him turn up 20 minutes late, and we've got a three hour bloody journey to do, it's the hottest day of the year, and Dave rocks up late, gets out of the van, and I sent to do it. I went, he ain't even got a guitar. He ain't even got a guitar on him. Because because I'm, I'm on drums, right? You, you get in the van, look at Dooney and go, do you do the same face you did at the van? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, all right, bro. Uh, I said, so I'm late, bro. Like to Bob. So I'm late, man. Like, and I'm like, it's just, I'm, I'm tearing about. I'm, I'm always I'm flat out. I've been flat out, mate. Standard. And I was like, oh, I do need to go. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the fact that he's mentally bypassed doing it. Yeah. Oh, nah, do it. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. So, so all you've got to bring is obviously ca the cabs on the. The, the amps on the van, but you need the the head for it, and he needs his guitars. He's got none the of these pedals. Things. Pedals. <laughs> you, Dave, you didn't even have a plectrum. <laughs> so this is then the other side of you, Dave. You make a call, and en route, we manage to pick up all the equipment. A whole rig. A whole rig on the way out. Who's it? Uh, um, um, uh, uh, Tom. From the uh, the uh, guitar lounge, guitar lounge, who used to work with like, yeah, yeah. guitars and stuff. Oh my god! Absolute absolute legend. So like, he sort he like, sorted you out big time. time, and we're only like it's standard like half an hour late, but we got three hours on the M25 to come. Obviously, we hit awful traffic on the hottest day of the year. We get to the gig as we always do. We we do allow allow for Dave Smith time, even for getting for getting the gear. But obviously, I'm pissed off because I've had to drive in the heat. And it's like, your one job, just bring your guitar. <laughs> Read the email and turn up. I'm normally vigilant, but but yeah, I've, I've royally, royally fucked. So, me, me and Doonit, we're sitting down. I mean, the gig was great, it was cool. And we was, were we staying over? Yeah, we're staying over that night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Staying in the army barracks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and I, me and Dooney get talking, and this is where KB comes into it because KB stag dude was coming up the week after, and um, we said, right, Dave, even though it's KB stag, I was like, you got to, you got to take a forfeit for this. I mean, <laughs> we're, we're going to put this in. <laughs> this is banned protocol. Anything like that now, it, it, you take it out. So me and Dooney, I, I, we really did think about it during the night, and, and, and then I can't remember if it was me and Dooney. I'll give the credit to Dooney because I can't remember if it was me or him. But we said, when we give you the nod on KB Stagdu, at any point, the only words, you, you have to go up to the women that we designate, and the only words you can use are, I'm in a band. <laughs> I'm kind of a big deal. Big deal. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, oh. So obviously KB's getting, KB's getting hazed enough on his on his stag. So the next morning, it's a Saturday morning of the stag. We're in Nottingham. And we've got a swimming pool at the hotel. And we're in the pool, like 10 lads at one end of the pool. Yeah, but but we've been on the, the sudden, piss all day. We've been on the piss all day. Oh, well, it was in the afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah, we've been on the piss yeah, all day. Yeah. I was like, right, let's take a swim. Everybody wants to come. There's about 10 lads in the pool. And at the other end, these two, <laughs> these two like attractive women get in the pool at the other end, staying away from us. <laughs> And, and I, I, I had my hair down there, and, and I was, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking, like, I said, said, Bob, good shout, man. This is a good shout. This is a leveller. Get in the pool, get a bit of sauna, get a bit of steam in. Second women, we get changed, get a shirt on. Like, fucking good shout, bro. Like, you're, you're always the one. Rob always sorts us out. So these chicks come in, and then, and then I looked around, I was like... I looked over and Bob, Bob, oh yeah, I was like, oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can still see it now because it's like this really dark, horrible cave pool. It wasn't a nice one. And there's just this creepy long haired Jesus looking dude. <laughs> Poor fucking girl. Let, 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 let Rob tell you. Let Rob tell you. Oh. Well, I, I just, I kind of forgotten about it. You know, and then Dave, I mean, me and Doonit were in the pool, and Dave looks at me, and I look at him, and I went, now. <laughs> he went, like, no. I went, Dave, you didn't even have a fucking plectrum. <laughs> <laughs> so you got, and I, I, I was behind you, but I can still see your face coming up to these people. <laughs> like, so, 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 apologetically. So it's been here. And, and I'm and I'm I'm treading water like because <laughs> <laughs> it's only three foot deep. You're like oh, uh, the hair coming this lank along the hair like something out of uh, like the that that, that, that um, movie screen where that shit comes out on TV. Um, like, the creature and, and from like, the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> like, like, like and, and, and they're like they're like um, they're in like a little separate little pool there. And it's like they're like um, hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> look, look back at the boy. I'm like, I'm in a band. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, okay, all right. I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I was so ready. You, you, had to wait, you had to wait for the nod from me to stop. <laughs> I was like, I was like, how long can I spit him out there? And you kept like looking back, like, like oh, so, so, you, what's your, what kind of what kind of music, Dave? What kind of music does your band play? I, I'm I'm in a band. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, so so are you, are you guys a lot of are you, are you on tour? Are you, are you so so are, are you playing at the um the local arena? I'm like. Uh, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> 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 it was, it was horrendous. horrendous. Oh god! But I, 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 eventually, I think after a minute or so, I let, I let you off, and you fulfilled your duty. And fair play to you for doing that because uh, very good. What a you could have easily reneged, yeah. and you honestly stuck to it like completely as well. So fair well, play to well, you. Yeah, yeah. I had to uh, out of it's, it's a band code, bit of honour. But like, oh man! Right. So Dave, you mentioned this one the other day. So you can you can take the lead on this one now. Then. So one of mine is Shaka Zulu Camden. Oh. 
Right. So, I remember. <laughs> there's so there's so many more bits to this story as well because this is okay. amazing. So I remember Rob saying to me, me and Kate, like, well, we got this gig in Camden, boys. I was like, oh, cool, man. You know, like, um, you know, uh, like we've we've all played in, in various places, in, particularly London and stuff in, you know, in, in our own bands and together and stuff. So really cool. But as, 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 as Rev, when we when we travel all over the country, we do this stuff. Yeah, it's quite it's it's unusual to play somewhere sort of that in that kind of vicinity and i was like sweet man like great and, and it's it's gonna be a good gig man it's really cool so right okay so we're getting all like all sort of geared up for it and we've got all uh, uh we head down and, and uh we're having, a, having a bit of a right old time and having a few drinks and stuff and it's this amazing venue right it was for um it was for prs who, who yeah they call the royalties so as we're loading in i mean it, it was a fucker of a load one of the worst loads i ever remember Ever. Yeah. Getting it was through a cut. We had to load from the back of a car park, down a long hall, in yeah. a lift, massive hall, then into a massive arena type place, and then set up. Um, and it was on a Thursday night. And as we're setting up, this is when I see your fucking pair of eyes light up. <laughs> so this is a team meeting for the bar staff. Okay, um, just so you know, they've got fifty thousand pounds behind the bar tonight. Anything over fifty thousand pounds, they have to pay themselves. And we're like. Fifty grand, <laughs> and you two were like, "Excuse me, um, <laughs> Barkey, <laughs> drinks for the band." Like, oh man, and I'm obviously driving, so not having, well, maybe having a, a glass before we go on or something like a glass of wine. But yeah, so this stuff, yeah, this was the this was the tipple of the night. Yeah, it was a red wine night for you two. So in between the sets, and it was a real mediocre gig as well, wasn't it? Because they had um. Yeah. They had loads of stuff going. Gorillas. On. They, they had the gorillas that perform, gorillas. Up, not not the gorillas, the band. But they had actual fully dressed gorillas walking. Yeah, like circus acts. Yeah. Um, they yeah, had a silent disco. Oh yeah. <laughs> 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 the, gig, the gig. I mean, we did a good job, and we did it. We got them up and dancing a little bit because there's so much going on, and then obviously. I'm like, right, we're in the centre of Camden. It's time to get the hell out of here. And you two are just at this massive bar drinking, I guess, very expensive red wine. But, but it, it, it was kind of really, um, it was it was really opulent and like really extravagant. It was quite quite distracting. You know, it was me and you. Yeah. Yeah. It was really like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, then, um, so then Bob says, Bob said, Bob's like, right, we're out of here. A fair play. Bob always drives, you know, and uh, and then subsequently the past sort of few years, I think we all drive now anyway. But um, this is back in the day when we used to do like lot like, gigs further away. And uh, and, and me and KB, you know, to, to, not to advantage of it, we we, uh, we we accepted the hospitality of said, <laughs> said venue. Uh, and um, yes, but... <laughs> It's Jim KB with that fucking thing. <laughs> oh, it's that. Um, oh, so, I didn't know if that was going to get brought in or not. So, so I, I, I do, I do, I do remember this. I, I, partly whether it's, it's almost a bit like looking at a photograph. Yeah. Whether you remember the situation, or, or is it more a case of uh, you remember the picture? But I, I remember like, I remember was it was it a lift or something, Bob? Yeah, lift. Like five floors down, wasn't it? it, was, it yeah. Was, yeah. What I remember, because we had a green room, and in the corner of this room was a three-foot totem pole. I was pissed. It was very wrong. Shouldn't do it. And I, was, I looked at Bob. I was like, I'm having that. <laughs> fucking not. I was like, I am I was like, again, this is, this is through an agency. We ain't been paid yet. Yeah. <laughs> But all I, all I heard it. was like the symbols banging in my head like this. <laughs> so it got to the end of the night and um, I, I went for it. And I had this little, little duffel bag. <laughs> <laughs> and this kid was three foot at least. I, I shoved it in my duffel bag. <laughs> and, I'm and I'm walking up the stairs and um, we get to the lift. 
and Rob sees me and I'm like, oh, I've got away with this, no worries. <laughs> what I realized is that the, the totem pole is in two parts and the head had fallen off. And in, in the totem pole were shells <laughs> which had followed me <laughs> the entire way. Right up <laughs> Bob Courtney, to, to the at which point I had to go right back and and you know take it back. So um, you yeah, Bob but Hansel and Gretel on it all the way to the van. I mean, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was, I was like, at this point, I mean, I'm doing all the gear by myself, and I'm, I'm sort of like, fuck's sake, right, boys, come on, come on, come on, right, get it on, get it on. And um, are you still there, okay? I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Um. So at this point, I, I remember this point vividly, and I will see this until the day I die. And I, I think, Dave, you told this story because uh, I said to everyone on the uh, on the stag do, because I was KB's best man. I said, right, everybody on the train there has to tell a story about KB, about Kev. So I think you told this one. So I'm lugging two speakers <laughs> up the stairs <laughs> and up the driveway to the van. Like PA speakers, like PA yeah. speakers. I mean, I mean, I don't know how much they weigh, but they ain't like you'd normally do one, wouldn't you? But for the sake of it, I'm like, <laughs> it, right, two. And as I'm walking slowly, sludging the stairs, I see Dave with two glasses of red wine by the stems, <laughs> bullet past me without even acknowledging me. <laughs> <laughs> I put them precariously in the van. <laughs> <laughs> and my oh, face, right. talking about Dave's, Dave's face at the plowman gig, being like, Ooh. my my face was just like. <laughs> Bob, I remember on that one as well. We had we had a um, that van was a rental because what? you're older, so you couldn't get in. And I remember yeah. us of London, and <laughs> passing out. Yeah. And, and Dave again. Sway had had this little, you know, thing just holding it, trying to spill it. And I think I don't know if I'm. Well, I've, it. Done it, I've done it. I've done it numerous times because obviously I don't want it even in my van, let alone a higher van where I've got to pay like a five hundred pound deposit on it. <laughs> and I've like slowed down, and I'm not condoning littering at all, but I'm like, you, you slowed down, like open that fucking window, open that window, <laughs> throw it out, <laughs> drive on. And you were both, you were both like boom into each other and i think i kicked you both out uh, no uh, there's more there's more to that story and this is the only part of that journey there's two parts of that journey i remember i remember i woke up central london and you didn't know which way to go that never died yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. and i woke up and you went oh, i'm lost and i went that way and then yeah out again yeah, and that was apparently the way we had to go yeah, you did. You got you somehow managed to get us out of London, and it was like that way. And yeah, I think I remember kicking you out, and Amy. I think Amy said to me, "She's like, how could you let KB get that drunk?" I went, "Fuck off." No, <laughs> yeah, you, you, you were very much to blame for it. I remember I, I, threw up, I, I threw up so bad. Oh, this is really bad. But my uh, my nose blocked. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. And Amy was, oh, was like trying night? to sort me out, and oh, that night, that yeah. night, and I couldn't, I couldn't breathe, and I was struggling for air. Genuinely, I could, like this, and Amy was running around everywhere, sorting stuff out, trying like ringing Bob, shouting him. <laughs> she came back to the toilet where I was. I wasn't there, and then I was in bed fast asleep. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, very sorry. Oh man, nice, yeah. right, well. I'm going to try and keep it under 45 minutes, so we've probably got time for one more. Um, okay. Anybody got a good one? I've, I've got one that it doesn't involve you, though, okay? But it it was, doesn't? No. It was I've, I've, the... um, I've, I've got one uh, which involves all of us. Go on then, Dave. You take the lead. We might have to do episode two carrying on from this, because I've got loads. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's amazing, really. I thought, I thought 45 was too long, but like, evidently... Nah. It's, uh, it's not um so um uh we had a had a good friend Lorraine who we used to liaise with uh, for the Itter Park um uh, festival gigs and, and we we always used to uh oh. <laughs> look at this look at these oh, no. and um and I mean we we were always sort of uh, uh we'd either headline it or on the, you know or it would be the penultimate band would be you know, um, we, we we would be the the, the spinal band like Smithy or like um, 
uh, Martin and, and, and the crews, um, uh, you know, all the all the, the other big bands in town. Retro and, um, and stuff. But I, I remember this one, and, and mem- I remember, I think we did a gig the night before. Yeah. You know, we went out and we were out with Jimmy, J- J- Jimmy Dockey. And Danny. And, um, and we, we, we'd been out. So we, I think we'd done a gig as well. Been out. Uh, no, you don't. No, you don't. You you guys had done it. I'd done a gig with Radicus. You, I think, or maybe not no, Radicus, no, but a band. No, 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 no. Listen to me. Listen to me. Uh, <laughs> we done, we'd done a wedding. Me, you, and Doonit. Yes. Dave, Dave was with the Mighty Persuaders. Ah. Yep. I think Jimmy um, was with the MPs at that time, helping yes. out Danny. Right. And we met at the Met Lounge, Dave. Right. Okay. So, I, I, so, so uh, thank you for that, cla- yeah, cla- uh, clarifying that because I don't remember the beginning of the evening, uh, uh, nor nor the end of the evening. Um, so we obviously we, we all we all sort of uh, we texting and phone like let's all hook up and and uh, I mem- remember it was like kind of like you know this, the weekend plan. It's like uh, look, don't forget, don't forget, we got Sunday. Uh, it's a pub, rev, right? Twelve o'clock, twelve o'clock Sunday morning. Sunday. 12 o'clock, so 12 o'clock, right. So did we have a gig in the afternoon or something? Yeah, or we you? had another yeah, gig at the Coffee Inn in Warrington. <laughs> yeah. Another charity gig. Oh, yeah, in the car park at the Coffee Inn. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. On a, like 30, 30 degree heat as well. It was a hot day of year. So, so we went back to KB. You were living, uh, you had an apartment. You, uh, in Broadway. Yeah. In Broadway. And so, so we, we, we ended the back up there. At, like... No, we didn't. We went to we went to Met Lounge and we ended up in. No, oh, we, 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 like, sure we were in your apartment. You ended up at right. KB's apartment because you stayed. We there. Ended, somehow we, I think we went to Edwards or somewhere or oh, okay. lounge and went past, got a drink, and then we ended up somehow at mine. And you okay. sleep on the sofa. I was in the bed, and it was kind of one of those home alone moments <laughs> where I woke up and. and but, but, but I, 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 I just, I just notion. I said, I said, I said to Jimmy and you, uh, and there's Collins was there. Dan Collins, our good friend, who sometimes plays with the band, and, uh, and uh, we're all there. Big gang. And, and I remember I said, like, boys, the best thing to do is not sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best decision right now. <laughs> That's the best decision right there. And uh, and and so we tried. To, and I, I remember writing a note. And sellotaping it to Jimmy's chest, <laughs> like, like something like um, uh, uh, something like in the event uh, of uh, whoever wakes up first, like uh, send this party to it's a park. That, that was that was what I wrote something like that. You know, whoever whoever like, discovered us or whoever you know uh, whoever woke up first. And, and anyway, I remember we, we we obviously did fall asleep for like momentarily for a couple of hours. I was like, oh, we've got to be there like, like, like 45 minutes. And, and we couldn't speak, stand or see. It was it was just, it was horrendous. So so we all, we got up, it was like coffees. And, and then we were off, we went. And I, th- I think Jimmy drove us there. He did. Uh, and <laughs> and then we got there. And I remember... <laughs> Bob's, there, Bob's there, super fresh. He's had, he's had a, he's had like... He's, he's, you know, he's done like sort of 40 lengths, had a bit of a run, eating some spinach and some like uh, you know, prepared uh, boiled eggs or whatever. Uh, and we're, we're all like, we're all... <laughs> but Dave, the, 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 I, I remember the only, the only people in the audience were my parents. Yeah. <laughs> and, was, and they were like slow clapping because Dave was pissing about with it. He couldn't, he was used yeah. to doing his drum kit because he didn't have time to go oh, and get yeah. it. So, so like, what, I, 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 I'll never forget our mentor, our, our, like, the, the main man of the local scene, Mr. Colin Smith, who Colin. we all love dearly. Uh, he was doing sound and he came over and he was like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Like, <laughs> get together. And I was like, <laughs> and I said, I said, and Bob was, um, we can, you can get any sense out of any of us. And yeah, no. we set up. And it was like uh, sound checks, like doom, 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 you know, on the kit, and you're on the guitar, and and and, and you look around at us, and like you, like boys, like he's fucking out of board, man. Come on, right? And it was like one, two, three, good go. Ba-da, 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 boom, no, ba-da, I, 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 I'm sure the first song was. I weirdly remember this was hard to handle. Might have been. 
because I just remember because I like, thought it was gimme. Yeah, I can't remember the drum beat that you do, but it, it was not that drum beat. <laughs> no, no, it was because, because, but also, also, it was like, it was like Rob, Rob was talking to me, like, <laughs> I remember because you relayed this to me, Bob. You're like, it's like, dude, dude, you're right. You know, once we got set up and people mingling around and. And we got some like drinks and stuff. And, like, you're up, and, like, and you're like, and you're like, and you're like, and you're like, hey, mate. And it's like, uh, uh, down. So glad you made it. Like, like, <laughs> but this is why we can get away with it. We can get away with telling these stories on a video that's going to be, you know, saved online forever. It's because no matter what, we always get the gig done until a proper level. Because Dave, and I, honestly, you couldn't speak when no. I was speaking to it. But then, even your harmonies, though, were bang on. Yeah. I, I remember the second gig, which, you know, we did like an hour. Then we had three hours off, which I think said, I said to you, Dave, you need to have a couple of beers, mate. I was like, you, you're at that point. You know, it, it, it's like, yeah, have it. We went to the second gig, which was just as shit because there was no one there. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> and, and it was like a two-setter. Like and I'm just thinking, oh, my God. This is gonna, you know, this is gonna be hard. Got to get your head down. One of them ones where you got to get your head down. And still, I remember it was like turning around in half the handle, and you go, um, "Come on, let me feel it, let me light your candle, 'cause I'm mama, I'm sure I'm in the now." And then you come off, and like, "Well, then, you're like, 'I'm done, I'm done, I'm done.'" And I, I got in. I think I can't remember. I must have been driving. Obviously, I, I got in the van. Like one of, them, one of them gigs where I just didn't say goodbye to any of you. <laughs> It was a, it was, it was a size eleven, like fucking. Yeah. <laughs> See you next week. Gone. Yeah. So. But that, hey, that, that was. Uh, I, I, I do remember that, and I remember like, I remember me and KB just giggling through the set. Uh, yeah. Uh, and but it, I remember it just being, it remember it being really good. It's really, it's really, really great gig. Well, uh, yeah. we played well. We played well. I think there was, I think probably a, a, ten people across both gigs. Yeah, uh, but uh, we've come a long way since then. We've come a long way since then. That was many years ago. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna round it up there because we're coming up to 45 minutes. So uh, I think good. we've covered some good ground, though. My potatoes are ready, Bob. Your potatoes are uh, ready. Well done. You've managed to do multitasking potatoes and everything. So I think we should do another episode, carrying on from this, and have another think of maybe just one story each. I think I was a bit optimistic with three stories each. Knowing how much we all like to waffle and how uh, how much info goes in, some of some of the ones that are headlines that you might want to consider. I've got just Tom. Tom is one of them. Tom. <laughs> well, that's the name of the story. Yeah, um, Tom. Um, nicknames for Tom. Um, I've got Tom North Street Bar. Oh, I'll come to that one. I've got a whole thing about. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy the DJ will be one. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and my surprise new member day, which I'll bring that up next time, was the um, the burlesque dancer last year. Do you oh, oh, yeah, oh, in the in the circus tent. Yeah, in the circus tent, because she just she just got on the stage, and uh, I'll, I'll tell that story next time. But yeah, just yeah, to say, yeah. People thought it was part of our show. <laughs> <laughs> And there's no way to, without insulting her going, she's not with us. She's not with us. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I've just got uh, one I'll leave you with, and it's an MP story. So Mike Persuaders, which was a band that me and Dave played in for many, many years. Um, and I've just got, are you going to be my girl? <laughs> oh, that is a great story. So, right, we'll leave people hanging. Always leave it on a cliffhanger <laughs> for episode number two. Um, thank you, boys, for your stories and for chipping in on a Sunday night. Um, Everybody that is tuning in, if anybody's tuning in, like I said, there'll be a link attached. If you'd like to support the podcast, the Children of the Rev, what goes on tour podcast, um, then by all means get in touch. There's links there. Or if, yeah, let's try and get a sponsor. Let's get a beer sponsor for next week. Oh, I, 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 I want to get, get sponsored on this red wine because it's the best red wine in the world. Okay. <laughs> Send it my way. We'll see what we can do. So, um, right, boys. I'm going to end the recording now if I can figure out how to do that. And hopefully this isn't going to all delete. But um, say goodbye, everybody. Peace out. Bye, guys.